everybody welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today we're going to talk about the updated Google Messages application. Now I'd have to say that with some of these small updates and modifications and changes that this app has gone through, especially in the beta version which is what I'm running here, this has moved me from using the stock Samsung messaging application over into Google Messages. Now, if you wanna have that full Google experience, you can go through your keyboards and you can switch it over into Gboard as long as you download Gboard from the Play Store. Now, one of the major things that has changed inside of Google Messages is going to be the fact that you're able to react. Now, I'll show you here in just a second how you can get this one activated and turned on on your phone uh, by, by signing up for the beta version. But you can do like a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a mad face, sad face, wow, uh, smiley, happy face, as well as a heart face. You know, it's actually really nice. It gets you up to par with Facebook Messenger and iMessage. So for anybody who is new and they don't really know too much about the differences between, let's say, the Samsung keyboard and Google Messages really fast, Google Messages is a chat service. It's one that you're able to send large videos, large photos. You can go up to 8,000 texts characters. I mean, there's a lot that you're able to do through here. You can even do some video chat. You can call them um, inside of here. A lot of the stuff that you're able to add in is going to be your gifts. You can also send your location. You can send GPay and GPay request. If you need to send money, uh, you can also attach files. There's a lot that's going on, but if you want to have a little bit of Samsung behind you inside of Google messages, just use the Samsung keyboard. So now that we kind of got a little bit of this out of the way, let me show you how you're able to get it downloaded. So first go inside of the Play Store and what you want to do is just search for Google Messages. Now once you search for Google Messages, you're going to see this one pop up right here. You'll open this one up and as you scroll down somewhere right around here on yours, will give you the option to sign up as a beta tester. And it's actually really fast. You basically just sign up for this and then you open up Google Messages, but I believe you just have to restart your phone, turn it back on, and then you're good to go. Uh, I can't really remember. I've been a beta tester for this for quite a while now, and I can't remember if I need to restart the phone or not, but that's one of the things you're able to do. Or at least, you know, force stop the application and then restart your phone, turn it on. But either way, once you get into beta, then you're able to go inside of here and you can press and hold on any type of comment or conversation piece and you're able to do a reaction. Now, the other really nice thing about this is I can't remember if back in the day, if the recording of your voice was there, but I don't remember it being that great. If it was sitting there, it was one that I didn't really push push that far. Uh, but with this one here, it actually sounds really good when you do the playback. So actually right up over here, my buddy Brett and I were talking about how, you know, with this little microphone here, it was improved. So it kind of replaces what we used to use back in the day, which was Google Allo. Now, what we're talking about here is that even though it sounds great, Allo actually had the captions underneath what was stated. So this way you wouldn't have to literally play the message, even though it's way easier to send a message just by your voice. Uh, but let me play this back and you can see that captions are turned on and I can show you how you can get this one turned on as well. So all I did was I had live caption turned on and it shows it right here just coming up. So everything that he's actually stating in this little message, even though it sounds great, I now have the live captions. Now with my live captions, I basically all I have to do is hit my volume button, hit on this down arrow and I have live captions sitting here. Now, if you have this not sitting there uh, and you're running Samsung One UI 2.1, this is where you go to turn it on. You can go inside of your settings, you can go to search and you can type in live caption or just go inside of accessibility, go to hearing enhancements and then you go to live caption. So with live caption, you can turn it on. You can also have it show inside of the volume control. So this is the one that I have turned on for it to show inside of my little volume. And the nice thing about live caption is that this will work if your volume is all the way down. So let's say you're laying in bed, your spouse is laying right next to you, maybe an infant is laying next to you. You don't want anybody to be woken up by some type of a loud message or YouTube video, really anything, Facebook video, somebody sending you a voice chat, whatever it is. 
your volume can be all the way down and it'll still live caption everything out. So this way you can still watch and consume, respond back without actually having to have volume on. So if you're somebody who used to use Allo back in the day, like Brett and I, uh, this is a way that you're able to get that back by turning on live message. And this is just, uh, you know, the best default messaging service you can use on a Samsung phone and really any other Android phone. Samsung messages is really nice. I talked about it being just fun and easy to do and a lot of cool things as a part of it with the Samsung ecosystem. But with these latest updates with Google messages, this is where it really takes the cake. Now to check to see if you have your chat features turned on, just open up the Google messages, go on the very top right hand side and then click on settings. Underneath settings, you have this option right here that says chat features. And for me, it says that I am connected. My status is there. I have everything going on for the whole chat service stuff. You can also enable chat features right here, the send read receipts, show the typing indicator. So everything is all gonna be there. And then if you wanna know if they have it, you can go inside of a conversation on the very top right hand side. Again, click on details. And if you see this option here where it says only send SMS and MMS, that means that you can limit yourself down from where you were, which means that you and this person is activated with the chat features. So to show you what it looks like with somebody who does not have it, let's say that we go right over in here, tap there, and we go over inside of details. You can see how this option is not, it was not there for that limiting of SMS. That's because it's already limited to SMS because their chat features is not turned on. But this was a little update of what was happening. It's really nice, it's really cool. Uh, you know, sign up to be a beta tester. It's right inside of there, inside of that Google Play that I showed you in that little area. Just sign up, ready to go, get it turned on. Then now you're able to respond back with everybody. And again, uh, you're gonna love the Google Messages option for chat services and chat messaging and everything else way over using your Samsung messaging default service. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.